Life is difficult. Can you begin again with a new identity? Welcome to Movie Wonderland. We'll be watching the missing fiance, helpless today. It was raining heavily at the time, and Moon Ho couldn't figure out how his fiance Sun Young vanished after purchasing a cup of coffee. Moon Ho searched the entire service area, and he was so worried that he made a radio announcement. He also broke into every women's restroom, but he only found his fiancée's hairpin, which had fallen on the toilet floor. Is it because she was too nervous to meet his parents that day when he took her home to meet them? He was certain that something had happened because she was nervous, but her nervousness was overflowing with happiness. Moon Ho was so concerned that he went straight to the police station and reported the incident. The police did not take it seriously assuring Moon Ho that his fiancé would return on her own in a few days. Moon Ho became enraged. It was raining, the car keys were still plugged in, the engine was still running, a person who was supposed to marry next month mysteriously missing, how could he just leave it on a whim, it had to be an accident. But soon after, the answer came to the door, and the fog of the story became thicker and thicker. Moon Ho arrived at Sun Young's place to find the room in disarray and all of Sun Young's clothes and belongings missing. Later, Moon Ho received a call from Dong Wu. Dong Wu is Moon Ho's former classmate who now works in a bank. Sun Young applied for a credit card from him last week, but Dong Wu discovered that Sun Young had a bankruptcy record in the bank system. So he called Sun Young today to tell her about it and Dong Wu also asked her if Moon Ho was aware of it. Sun Young didn't wait for him to finish talking and hung up. Dong Wu wanted to make sure everything was fine, so he dialed Moon Ho's number. Moon Ho was attempting to defend Sun Young, thinking it was most likely due to a bank system error, but when he saw Dong Wu pull out the legal document from four years ago, he was immediately lost, the document couldn't be fake. The next day, Moon Ho arrived at Sun Young's workplace, he didn't learn anything about Sun Young, and he only returned with her resume. He read the resume and called all of the previous workplaces where Sun Young had previously worked, and unintentionally discovered that Sun Young's resume was a forgery, and all of the previous workplaces have no such person. Moon Ho was not only concerned about Sun Young's safety at this point, but he was also perplexed. He broke out in a cold sweat when he remembered Sun Young always saying she didn't want to return to her hometown because her parents were all dead. The information about Sun Young was becoming clear, according to the resume. With the passage of time, two things will grow larger and larger, lies and illegal loans. Sun Young's first credit card default was 350,000, and her bankruptcy has grown to more than 80 million. Moon Ho visited the law firm where Sun Young had filed for bankruptcy. Sun Young, he discovered, came in two years ago when her mother died unexpectedly. Her mother's insurance money, worth nearly $50 million, was claimed in a lump sum by her. Sun Young has no other relatives listed on her birth certificate besides her mother. The strange thing was that when Moon Ho saw Sun Young's personal statement, he felt it wasn't right that it wasn't Sun Young's hand notes. The staff found that they were not the same person after comparing their resumes to Sun Young's. Although the ID photos were different, the ID numbers and other information remained the same. As a result, Sun Young is not Sun Young, so who is Sun Young? He also remembered Dong Wu saying on the phone that Sun Young didn't seem to know she had a bankruptcy record. Moon Ho is adamant about finding Sun Young. He is now convinced that if he found his fiance, all of his problems will be solved. Even if she wasn't Sun Young, he had to know who she was and why she wanted to marry him under a different name. Otherwise, he's at a loss for words and it comes to explaining his fiance's disappearance in front of his parents. First, he had to figure out who the real Sun Young was. Moon Ho returned to his fiancé's office, but this time he only received some personal belongings that Sun Young had left in the office and no new information. The staff no longer wants to deal with him. He returned to his pet hospital, unmotivated to work and desperate. He didn't know what to do now. 
he remembered his detective, cousin Zhang Gun. Zhang Gun was once a big shot, very smart and dependable, but he was suspended for accepting bribes. Moon Ho decided to enlist the assistance of his cousin in his investigation. Moon Ho was overcome with emotion and told his cousin what had happened to him. His cousin had a strong interest in investigating cases, and he began the investigation the next day. If a person's personal information has been used, it is impossible that it went undetected during the year Sun Yang and Moon Ho have been dating. Medical insurance, ID cards, and home addresses are used in almost everyone's daily life and can go undetected for up to a year unless the person whose identity was stolen and the person who stole it are acquainted and close, or the person whose identity was stolen has died. Zhang Gun began his search, with his professional tools, at Sun Young's apartment. He went through all the places where she could have left her fingerprints, including the refrigerator door and the closet. Surprisingly, he couldn't find even a speck of her fingerprints. Sun Young seemed strange to a professional detective, and there were no clues left in the room to prove this person's information. As a result, his cousin met his colleague from the police station and retrieved Sun Young's file discovering where she lived two years ago. Zhang Gun then tracked down Sun Young's landlord and obtained some of her belongings from her at the time. Zhang Gun discovered a salon membership card among Sun Young's personal belongings and went to the beauty salon to inquire about it but the staff informed him that Sun Yang had only visited the salon for two months two years ago and had never returned. Sun Yang vanished from both her Chongpadong home and the hotel where she worked two years ago in March, according to the investigation. Then, in May, she appeared unexpectedly at her current address. When a different Sun Yang moved in, her bank account began to be used, and this woman had purposefully used Sun Yang's name and account number. Sun Young's bank deposits were all withdrawn after he vanished from the highway service area. Zhang Gun concluded that she knew her identity had been exposed and fled with her belongings, erasing all traces of her presence, with the intention of not being found. Moon Ho was informed of his cousin's guess. The mother was killed in an accident, and the daughter inherited a large sum of insurance money. It is clear that this is not an accident, but rather a murder case. Moon Ho doesn't believe it, after all, what about the heart he's given over the last year? He thought he knew Sun Young, and Sun Young would never be a murderer, so there had to be something else going on. Moon Ho recalled seeing a beautiful charming lady in the entrance of his pet hospital a year ago, she always came to see the animals here, with pity and envy in her eyes. Moon Ho owns a pet hospital, his father was famous and successful, and his family is wealthy. But when it came to Sun Young, Moon Ho was still a little shy. The girl in front of him was not inferior, proud, or squirming, and it was on that day that Moon Ho found his true love, Kong Sun Young. Then they got together, and he was happy every single day. Moon Ho couldn't bring himself to let go of this, but after following Sun Young's clues, all they found was another Kong Sun Young. Moon Ho visited Kong Sun Young's hometown of Jechen. Kong Sun Young's classmates showed him her graduation photo, which clearly did not belong to his son Young. Simultaneously, Zhang Gun went to the police station where Kong Sun Young's mother's accident was documented. Kong Sun Young's mother died after falling down the stairs while drunk, according to the police. Some people suspected Kong Sun Young of pushing her mother to death for the insurance money. Later, the police heard that Kong Sun Young had purchased an expensive grave for her mother out of guilt. Moon Ho was also told that Kong Sun Young had a close friend named Hyun Suk after she left home, but Kong Sun Young has been missing for two years. Hannah, who worked at the pet hospital at the time, accidentally discovered another photo behind Sun Young's photo while cleaning. This photo was in Sun Young's bag, which was brought back from Moon Ho by Sun Young's colleague. It showed Sun Young was in a showroom, as well as the date and time the photo was taken and the name of the company. Zhang Gun immediately tracked down the company that provided the showroom and was informed that the location in the photograph was being used as a training session for employees of a cosmetic brand called C. By chance, Zhang Gun saw a cosmetic advertising car on his way back 
and he immediately thought of the same C cosmetics in Kang Sunyang's personal belongings, and the clues were instantly connected. Does this imply that Moon Ho Sunyang works for Cosmetic C? If that's the case, everything will make sense. Kang Sunyang's personal information was being used by Moon Ho Sunyang. Zhang Gun went to Cosmetic C Company as expected, and he quickly found a picture of Sun Yang, or should I say Cha Zhang Sun? Yes, Moon Ho Sun Yang is actually Cha Zhang Sun, an employee of Cosmetic C. Zhang Gun met the manager and discovered that Cha Zhang Sun had previously worked for the company and had misplaced the information of 122 customers. The manager also stated that Cha Zhang Sun was married at the time and did not interact with her co workers. Zhang Gun went to see Moon Ho after obtaining Cha's file from a colleague at the police station. Moon Ho was shocked to learn that his fiancée Cha Zhang Sun was divorced, and Cha Zhang Sun took four days off from work on December 10, the day Kang Sun Yang's mother died. Moon Ho felt as if his world was collapsing around him. What concerned Zhang Gun was the fact that Kang Sun Yang was on the cosmetic C company's list of lost customers. If Cha Zhang Sun was truly accused of murder, the real Kang Sun Yang might already be dead. She may be able to find another scapegoat now that her identity has been revealed. Again, Zhang Gun advises Moon Ho to let go the investigation because it will not end well. Moon Ho is convinced that his fiancé would never murder anyone, and he wanted to meet Cha Zhang Sun's ex-husband. They arrived the next day to meet with the ex-husband. He told them that Cha Zhang Sun initially claimed she was an orphan. However, he later realized she was lying because Zhang Sun's father opened a small factory in Jingzhou and borrowed a legal loan due to poor management. The Cha family's nightmare began from that point forward. Cha Zhang Sun was 15 years old and her family fled in the middle of the night to avoid loan collectors, and she was left alone in the orphanage. Someone claimed to have seen her mother being taken away by the loan collector, but her mother's body was found at the station a few days later, and the cause of death was drug poisoning. Her family's factory was destroyed, and her ex-husband has chipped in to assist her family in making payments. However, the interest accrued and they are now unable to pay. This nightmare lasted for a while until the ex-husband's mother became ill. Their town began to speculate that Cha Zhang's son was the loan collector's mistress. According to the law, a person as long as the disappearance of five years can be dealt with by death, the daughter becomes the heir and has the option of refusing to inherit her father's debts. Cha Zhang's son did vanish, but it is not easy to live a life of hell for five years. When the ex-husband couldn't take it any longer, he chose to divorce Cha Zhang's son and pay her five million dollars in alimony. His mother died not long after the divorce. Moon Ho found Cha Zhang Sun's sister in Ma San, where they heard Cha Zhang Sun's follow-up, according to the ex-husband's clues. Cha Zhang Sun tried to flee, but she was apprehended by a loan collector at the train station and got caught, where she was sold as a prostitute. A year later, she returned to this sister, a little mentally ill and covered in scars. The sister advised her to go to Seoul in order to avoid the loan collector. Cha Zhang Sun last saw her sister was two years ago, when she was very sick. Her sister helped her in requesting the previously mentioned four days off. During those four days, Cha Jun Sun was hospitalist. The sister also stated that Zhang Sun kept the picture of the showroom in her hand during her hospital stay, claiming that she wished to live in such a room. When Zhang Gun arrived at the hospital, they got to know that Cha had a daughter as well but the baby only lived for about a month before dying. No one, including Cha, had no idea who the child's father was. According to the hospital, the mother and the baby were not quite normal, the child was born with a heart deformity, and her sister assisted her in raising the child. Zhang Sun was like a lost soul the night the baby died, sitting in the hospital corridor all night and then left. Moon Ho no longer wanted to continue his investigation because he couldn't bear the reality. It broke his heart to hear the entire story of his fiancée, now he remembered as she occasionally woke up from nightmares. 
he realized he didn't know anything about her. No wonder she wanted to start over with someone else's life. But Zhang Gun believed Kang Sunyang must be dead, and Cha Zhang Sun's desire to be reborn is so strong that she will surely find the next person again, and Zhang Gun believed it was important to find Cha Zhang Sun. As previously stated, Moon Ho discovered that the real Kang Sun Young has a close friend named Hyun Suk after she left home, and they tracked down Hyun Suk. Hyun Suk showed them photos of Kang Sun Young, which included Cha Jong Sun. The cousin had deduced Cha's motivation. Cha Jong Sun stole the client's information and went looking for someone her own age, with no family, the type of person who would not be noticed if she disappeared, because she wanted a new identity and a new life. So Kang Sun Young is the best candidate because her mother recently died and she has a lot of money. Cha Jong Sun read her letters, tracked down her whereabouts, gathered all of her information, found a way to become her friend, and then found a quiet place to murder Sun Young in order to replace her identity. Zhang Gun wrote a report and gave it to his former colleague, and trusting his police officer friend with the search for the young female body that had been unclaimed for last three years. To determine whether any of them are Kang Sun Young. Moon Ho was still thinking about Zhang Sun that night as he and Dong Wu drank together. Dong Wu advised him that there was no need to be like this, perhaps that woman was still alive and well under a different name. Moon Ho became aware of something as a result of Dong Wu's unintentional words. Moon Ho immediately returned to the clinic and obtained the cosmetics company's client list. Meanwhile, Zhang Gun had the same idea and went to Moon Ho's office. Zhang Gun stated that Cha Jun Sun's target was definitely on the list of 122 people. They went to the police station the next day, and the police database revealed that there was a girl named Jing who was in a similar situation as Cha Zhang Sun. The next day, they tracked down the girl Jing, who claimed Zhang Sun was her next door neighbor. They gradually became friends. Cha Zhang Sun approached her two days ago and gave her two tickets to a weekend concert. The police hid at the theater over the weekend, but Moon Ho found something strange. Hannah, the pet clinic's nurse, informed Moon Ho that their regular customer, Little Walnut's mother, had recently lost all of her mail. She's been living alone in her hometown for three years after her family was killed in a car accident. She stated that she and a friend are going to see the butterflies today. She made the decision to travel with her cat as well. So Hannah was on her way to bring her cat's cage. Moon Ho listened to all of this information and assumed the friend she was referring to was Cha Jong Sun. He recalled Cha saying she wanted to keep a peacock butterfly as a pet. Cha also had peacock butterfly eggs at home before. He told the nurse he was going to personally deliver the cage to the customer to see if the friend was Zhang Sun. When Moon Ho arrived at the train station, he met the customer who was holding the cat. She stated that her new friend's name was also Jing. Moon Ho showed the client a picture of Zhang Sun and asked her to identify her, it turned out that Cha Zhang Sun is the friend who invited her to travel with her. And it also turned out that Cha Jong Sun approached the client and made friends with her by using Jing's identity. Later, when Zhang Sun arrived at the station, she noticed the client getting on the escalator. Cha smiled as she greeted the client, but the client tried to ignore her with a horrified expression. Moon Ho finally saw his long lost lover right in front of him. Cha Jong Sun was clearly surprised. Her entire body shook as she refused to look Moon Ho in the eyes. She told Moon Ho that she was not a human being, that she was garbage, and that she had done everything. Moon Ho's heart was broken by these words, and he hugged her tightly as he remembered all the blood and flesh grinding past she had gone through. Although she did not respond to whether she loved him, he believed she did and decided to let her go. However, Zhang Gun and the police had arrived at the same time. Hannah noticed Moon Ho was acting strangely, so she called Zhang Gun to inform him. Cha Zhang Sun took off her high heels and dashed away, telling herself that if she was caught, she would re-enter the gate of hell so she couldn't be caught again. The news of Kang Sun Young's death was shown on television, 
she thought she saw Kang Sunyang appear in front of her. She recalled the fear and expectation she felt on the day she killed her, when she was covered in blood. She imagined herself as a peacock butterfly, believing that if she could overcome this obstacle, she would be able to break free from her cocoon and reclaim her life. This time, however, she was unable to flee. She stood on the roof, feeling a sense of freedom she hadn't felt in a long time. She leaped down as she saw the train approaching. Zhang Sun's story is sympathetic, as she attempts to break free from her cocoon and reclaim her life by taking on the roles of others. As fate would have it, she met Moon Ho, a promising young man with a bright future. This man is a window to her light as well as a door to her darkness. Thank you for your time. We hope you will follow and subscribe to Movie Wonderland.